In this video, I'm going to show you how to factor out for the distributive property. So if you look at number one, you've got the addition problem of 14 plus 21. And what I want to do is to write an expression that is representative of the distributive property. So what I first want to do is find the factors of 14 and 21, or ask myself what, what number can be factored out, or what number can both of these right here 14 and 21 be divided by that's the same so I know looking at 14 and 21 that 7 can go into both so I'm gonna write it right above now for 14 I know that 7 times 2 gives me 14 and for 21 I know that 7 times 3 gives me 21 so then I'm gonna look at these facts up here that I just wrote now the number that's the same between the two is a 7. So that means that, like we mentioned in the previous video, that is the number that wants to get into the house, or that's the number that's on the outside of our parenthesis house. And it wants to get inside the house by saying hi multiplying. I know it's a hi because it's a plus sign. So the numbers that were left inside the house that were, that the 7 wanted to get in to say hello to are a 2 and a 3. And I just used the other numbers that were part of my multiplication facts from above. So now I know that if I look back at my original problem, it was an addition problem. So just like that inside the parentheses, I'm going to leave it as addition. And if it asked you to solve, you could go ahead and solve it. But really, when we look for factoring out for distributive property, this is what we're looking for here. Just the expression. So you have the number on the outside of the parenthesis house. And then you have the two numbers, 2 plus 3, on the inside. And if you wanted to check yourself, you could use the distributive property to change this. And it should equal out to what your original problem was. So if I wanted to try that, say hi, because it's a plus, multiply. So 7 times 2. And also say hi, multiply, because it's a plus. So 7 times 3. And I know 7 times 2 is 14. And I know 7 times 3 is 21. So as you can see, if I went backwards again, I get my original problem. So I know that this expression is correct. All right, let's try number two. So we've got 81 minus 36. So I know this time, since it's a minus, it's a say by multiply problem. So 81 and 36, if I didn't know what the factors were, I could actually find my greatest common factor. So that's what I'm gonna do on the side over here. And I know from previous videos that I can use the division method to figure this out. Okay, so 81 divided by 36 will give me two times it can go through, which gives me 72 nine, with nine left over. Okay, so since I have to keep going because I don't have zero as my remainder, I'm going to divide 36 and nine. Oops. I know it can go in four times. And since I have zero left over, I know that I can use my nine. Okay, so I know that nine can go into 81 and it can also go into 36. So I know nine times nine is 81. And I know nine times four is 36. So just like we did above, I'm going to figure out what number is the same between the two. So I know the 9 is the same. And that number is going to stay outside of my parenthesis house. Right? Because that 9 is the one that said hi to the other two numbers that were inside the parenthesis house. So what I have left are a 9 and a 4. Okay? And those are going to stay. Those are the ones that were in the parenthesis house. And since there was a minus sign, that's just going to be a minus sign down here. And again, if I wanted to check it, I could come down here. And if I used my distrib distributive property to check this, it should come out to 81 minus 36. So if I say by, because it's a minus, say by multiply. So I would get 9 times 9 and say by, so it's a minus sign. And I also am going to say by multiply to the 4. 
9 times 9 I know is 81. 9 times 4 I know is 36 with a subtraction sign in between. And as you can see, 81 minus 36 checks out. Check is what my original problem was. So that means that right here, this expression here for distributive property is correct. Okay. So in this video, I showed you how to factor out using the distributive property.